I'm so excited to get this form my sister found it and cannot wait to make a great wreath for you. Tweety, stop shaking the tripod. Come here. <laughs> oh, naughty bird. <laughs> so uh, if you like it, please don't forget, give me a thumbs up. Stop arguing. And also consider subscribing. Become my bestie if you didn't yet. We have so much fun here. Always on the budget. You don't want to miss those fun videos, okay? I forgot to add, this form comes from the Dollar Tree. It's their brand new form. My store didn't have it, but here's the barcode and great news, it is available online and the quantity required is only four. Can you believe that? We used to have to buy the whole case, so this is great news. Another option is to recreate this form. It's very easy. You can just use one of the eight inch forms. Dollar Tree sells them in a pack of two and then just add the ears out of the wire. So simple. We're gonna use all Dollar Tree products like the beads, a pool noodle, a pack of floral moss, some floral wire, and some floral pins might come in handy. These you get at a craft store. Use your wire cutters to cut the ear on the side and thread your beads. I keep the beads on the string so they don't fall all over the place. And you're gonna have to straighten the wire over there where it bends so you can let your beads through easily. And then you will bend it back. Add a dab of hot glue and then insert one more bead and that way they'll stay in place. We are going to use hot glue and a jute string to put the ear back together. Just hold it for a moment and then we are going to crisscross with the string all around that place. And that was Tweety landing on my tripod and shaking, doing a happy dance. <laughs> And as I try to cut the second wire, it actually separates from the form. And that's fine too. Um, and then I just thread the beads like I did before. And I just want to show you how I reach the top over here. I pull out the beads and then straighten the wire to let the beads go through smooth, just like so. And then as I fill it up, I'm going to bend it back. And I didn't have a full string of beads, so I had to start a second one, but I don't think it takes more than one. It's just I didn't have a full one. And again, I finished this off with some hot glue and tie a string around there. And we are done with the ears. Look at that. Aren't they cute? Next, we are going to cut the pool noodle to size and then cut it in half so it's thinner and we are going to attach it on top of the form. At first, I tried using the hot glue, but it doesn't really hold it. So we are using a floral wire all around the form and tying it tightly. Cut off any excess and then add some hot glue to connect it. Oh, and switch your hot glue to low temperature setting for today. And there we go. We are going to have a form like this. We are going to use hot glue and cover the whole form with floral moss. And if you worked with the moss before, you know how messy it is. But it's worth it. I think it's all worth it. <laughs> Just cover it all around and from the inside of the form as well. I don't know if you had seen my butterfly wreath.
I used a better quality moss there and it made my job a lot easier because it comes in sheets and all you have to do is just pin it down. So I recommend getting that at your craft store because Dollar Tree moss is like crumbs that fell off that moss. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Nevertheless, the final result is amazing. Look at that. I'm just shaking off those um, crumbs. <laughs> And you can use your floral pins wherever it sticks up a little bit, pin it down. And then to prevent shedding, I was going to use hairspray, but then I remember I had this spray glue from the Dollar Tree. I decided to put my wreath in the bags and just spray it all over it. And then I pat it down and sprayed it one more time. I left it out to dry and then look at the amazing result. Most bases are so trendy right now, but they're expensive. So to make one out of Dollar Tree items for just a few dollars is a great achievement and I'm so happy with the result. Are you enjoying today's video? I hope you are. Please press thumbs up button. Thanks so much. <laughs> what? what are you doing? Stop biting. Stop shaking my camera. <gasps> oh, what a dirty. <laughs> you might want to cover the back with some felt. So cut out a circle probably before you cover the base. I had a, luckily a second form. And then we're going to attach a hanger in the back. Just use a pipe cleaner or a floral wire to make like a loop back there. And then you can cover the back, but did you notice what I did? <laughs> I can't use a circle. We need to cut out the middle too. <laughs> Use hot glue to attach it in the back and I probably could have cut out a little bit more, but it's okay, it's better than it was. And you can use your hanger back there. Don't make it too tall because you don't want it to show through the ears. Although we're going to make a flower crown, so that's going to cover it anyway. So we're going to need some flowers. And here's an easy formula. You get three large flowers, two medium, one bushel of small flowers, and one bushel of spiky flowers. Cut off the large flower heads and then separate the leaves. Insert the flowers at the top with hot glue and then highlight them with the leaves all around. Add the medium flowers, one on each side, and then cut off the leaves and also add them all around your crown. Next, cut apart your small flowers and then glue them in all around as well. Next, cut apart your spiky flower and insert them on both sides. I don't think you need to add more here. This must be like the easiest wreath ever. Comment, let me know. If you want to add a cherry on top, I have a cute little butterfly sticker, one of the last ones from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna add it on the side. Please take a look, let me know how do you like the final result.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to press thumbs up button. It really helps me out. And also consider subscribing. That way we will be in touch and you're not going to miss my future videos coming up, okay? Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye-bye. Right, go, go. <laughs>